Hello guys, it's Crafty Fox, and welcome back to another Minecraft train tutorial. So this time we're going to be building the Indonesian CC300 diesel locomotive. And it's actually, I believe, uh, built into Indonesia, so it's not imported. And yeah, I've been getting a lot of requests to do this. Uh, probably because I have a lot of Indonesian viewers now. They're actually my number one demographic, so I really wanted to make this video. So uh, yeah, this is what it looks like, and let's get started. So first off, we're going to use uh, orange concrete, two blocks in the middle of our narrow gauge track. And then we're going to take acacia wood stairs, just add one to the side and another one behind it, but curve that one. Do that on both sides. And in the middle, uh, we're going to add uh, red concrete, just four blocks like that. And right behind it, we want to have a uh, gray concrete like so. And that's going to be about 19 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And after that, um, add red concrete to that side as well. Make it four blocks wide. Add um, the two orange at the bottom and the acacia wood stairs so pretty much like the front we're gonna do it like that and also let's make this uh, middle part two blocks so I'm just gonna do the other side now alright so once we're done with that we can take uh, red concrete again and add another one to the sides of that the middle part it's gonna be a stone slab then on top of that we want two more red concrete so it looks like this and let's do the same thing on the other side like so and let's add a coupling so um, it is four blocks wide so we just pick one side for uh, the middle and I just picked this side so we're gonna place um, the coupling another brick slab alongside a tripwire hook for the air brake and do the same thing on the other side I just put it on the same side for both of them and then we're gonna take um, place some temporary blocks right here just so we can place uh, this ladder it's supposed to be a ladder and this is uh, just a dark oak fence gate so just put that there open it take off this block can place the bottom one so it should look like that and I just removed one by accident and then we're gonna take a stone button just add it on these red red concrete blocks and on the sides uh, acacia wood stairs like so and let's do the same thing on the other side so it almost is symmetrical so just make these ladders then let's add uh, stone buttons and the stairs on the sides alright next we're going to take red concrete and just add three blocks right here make it two blocks uh, tall so it's a 2 by 3 right here. Same thing on the front side. Alright, and then we're going to add a ladder. Like an actual Minecraft ladder right here. Uh, put that on the last, the bottom, closest to the middle block right here. Do that on all four corners. And then we're going to take... Um, where is it? Our hopper and stone slab and add the wheels. So the wheels for this, um, we're going to go over here, skip a block from there, add two hoppers, um, stone slab, two hoppers, stone slab, then hoppers again. So that's our wheel basically. And also, yeah, well, let's just add another pair of stone slabs and do the same thing on this side. So start off with the hoppers stone slabs, hoppers, stone slab, hopper, stone slab, and the middle part, um, yeah, we could just fill that in. The middle three, we're going to actually stick that out, the stone slabs, like so. And uh, right on top, we're going to add uh, red concrete, make it five blocks long, so it's slightly longer than the stone slab by one block on each side. And then uh, this part, it's going to be a uh, Keisha wood slab. So just add that right here. 
Same thing over here. Alright, so once we're done with that, we can take uh, red concrete. We could take red concrete and add one block here. Right next door is a light blue wool for like this little logo. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to add a birch door on top of this block right there. And it seems like I forgot to place the acacia wood slab right here, so let me let me do that right now. Okay. So next step is taking uh, red concrete and make this frame for this 2x2 two two bedrock vent. I think in real life there's like three pairs of like vents right here, but I had to make it 2x2 two two since I had limited space. So it kind of looks like a square, but real life it's like a rectangle. Um, we're going to take bedrock, just add that right here, just 2x2. Two and then we're going to take a uh, black stained glass block, just add one right here. Then uh, we're going to go diagonally towards the front, add two in the middle. Then we're going to take acacia wood stairs, add that alongside the front windshield. And then we're going to go... <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Well, let's go over here. Let's just add a frame right here. Frame, uh, just to add a frame around the door. Oh yeah. Let's add this side, the windows. Same thing in the front. And the acacia wood stairs. And then it's got to get a uh, red carpet. Just add it on top of these three. Then the other side. It is really hot in my room right now. Okay, so this part. We're going to use red carpet um, right on top of this bedrock and then just continue towards the front part. So go over this door like that. All right, so then we're going to take another brick uh, slab. Just add that on one side. So add it in our fake middle part right there after this uh, front windshield for the light. And then we're going to take acacia wood st uh, slab, add a... Uh, two by two after it and fill in the block next to it then do it on this side all right so once we're done with that we can take our um, red concrete again add a two by no it's a three by three one two three actually three by four just add three by four on this side this is the back side Although it's hard to tell which is the front and the back because they have like the same face. All right, so we added that one there and let's add this Indonesian uh, flag. It's on the side of this and we're gonna take a uh, block of quartz. Uh, some models of this, they don't actually have this so it's optional if you wanna keep it or not. But what I did, I just had diagonal um, with the block of quartz like that. Then the bottom, we're going to add a red wool and that's just going to be two blocks per side and then we're going to add a red concrete around it like so and uh, once we're done with that we're going to have to add our ladders on the side so it's going to be uh, dark oak fence gates and Actually, let, let me yeah, add some railings first because that's easier to do. So we're going to add a run railing alongside this all the doors. So it's going to be like three blocks tall. Like so. And just do that to every single door. And the last door. Okay, so once we're done with that, we can add a uh, stone slab the middle just add a two by two here and then we go up right here add stone slab then stone brick slab then stone slab then stone brick slab then stone slab then stone brick slab then acacia wood slab and down here it's gonna be uh, 
yellow wool, like a two by two of that. And now let's add our ladders. So the ladder is gonna be like one of them on this side. It's gonna be right next to uh, this uh, railing. It's gonna be like three blocks tall. So one, two, and three. Same thing on the other side. One, two, and three. Then there's gonna be one next to this bedrock vent. So they're pretty much aligned. So one, two, three again. One, two, three. Okay, so that's all the ladders. And now uh, we're gonna add some more details. Uh, stone brick slab right here. And then we're gonna take wooden trap door, make this diagonal right here in this yellow box on this side. And uh, after we're done with that, we're gonna, this might be the last step. Um, where's our light gray wool? And you see like this part that sticks out that's uh, kind of gray in color. We're just gonna add light gray carpet alongside it on the sides. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it on how to build the CC2, no, CC300. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more train tutorials in the future, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.